So I had a recent trip to Seattle in which I spent four hours on a plane, uh, and I sat next to an incredibly annoying person. That made me think, why don't we do a list of the worst people to sit next to on a plane that just make you dread the whole experience? Is this person on your list? One like, of these, it's not the name, but the, the type of person is on, is on my list. It was my wife. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a trip Tyler didn't know about. Uh, my, my number three, which was this person, is the snorer. Oh, yeah. So you go on a plane to have a quiet ride. Now, you might drift off yourself, but I it's do. one of those most awkward positions you can be put in in public. Is sitting next to a stranger you don't know. They're snoring. Should I wake them up? Should I not wake them up? What I want to be comfortable, like but they're pretty comfortable right now. How how nice do I want to be? And so that's the position I was put in in, the, in this flight to Seattle. Was that could be a whole different ranking. Awkward positions. To Ways to public. wake someone up. Oh, wake them up. Like, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> got sorry. Got down. Oh, did I wake you? I'm sorry. Now, now, this person was a rather heavy sleeper, so no matter what turbulence we had or what announcements came over the loudspeaker, you were still didn't wake it. him up. Thankfully, he wasn't a drooler, so I didn't get it on my clothes, but at least, he, I mean, the snorer thing is one thing. Could always be worse, I guess. Jeez. Uh, so my number three is friends with everyone on the plane guy. Yo! <laughs> Oh, hey, is that, is that a University of Michigan shirt? Go Wolverines. Oh, you coming back from Siesta Key? All right, high five, little kid. Hey, all right, stewardess. That guy. Don't want to be next to that guy. It just never ends. And then guess, guess what? When everybody walks by, who does he talk to next? You. Yeah. That's right. For the rest of the ride until someone else walks by. Friends with everyone on the plane guy. That's my number three. My number two. <laughs> well, can we stick on that real quick? Yes, yeah, so we can. It, it's never a woman. Do you realize that like it's always I, I the over-friendly guy. guy? It's always the over-friendly guy. There's never. I wonder why that is. Like, well, let me get to number two. Overcompensate. I'll explain. Okay. Because I'll get to number two. Okay. It'll all be solved in your head. My number two is scared, ready to vomit, overreacting lady. That's my number two. Is negative Nancy. <laughs> Yeah. Scared, overreacting, ready to vomit lady. Hit a bump and she's like, oh, the plane's going down. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We're going down. I, I'm I, okay. Can I put my feet over my head? Can I put my feet over my head? <laughs> Nearly all flights that I've taken, there's been somebody who looks outside the window, looks at the wing and says, is that normal? <laughs> like, that's, that's the worst comment because we all have the yeah, fears. Yeah, wing's supposed to be there, bro. We all have the fears deep down. We just don't want that echoed by somebody else. That's why Negative Nancy's on my list is because deep down, I, I, every single plane ride I get on, is like, what if something happens? I don't need to hear that in, don't talk in, about in, it. in public. Don't I, talk I just about want it in my head. It might be, that might be my mom. She's a negative Nancy? Yeah, she'll, well, she tries to like pop all these pills and stuff to make her like, <laughs> I don't even know if it helps. I don't even know if she's, maybe it makes her overreact more and start hallucinating and seeing things. Is that supposed to be out there? Do you see something out there? Do you, do you take anything before a flight yourself? No. no. no, no not a beer or no. liquor or nothing? nothing. I'll I mean, drink nothing water, I'll put my pillow on, and mm -hmm. I'm out in like out. five right. minutes. See mm -hmm. you later. Yeah, planes are pretty comfortable for, for being... It's just because they're, they're void of oxygen, <laughs> ultimately, so <laughs> everyone sleeps well. Yeah, maybe the Nothing's air Nothing's getting to your like brain. <laughs> um, my number one, uh, along with being loud, is the baby. So nobody wants to sit by. We've this. had babies. That's true. I yeah, had a baby I, on a plane. I, I feel for those people Maybe. too. I apologize whenever I go into a plane and, and my kid cries. Like I'll just uh, I'll give them the the I'm I'm sorry I can't do anything about it. But I don't like sitting next to it either. Now I, I get that they have to take the baby on the plane, um, but when the baby sleeps, it's perfect because there's like no sound out of them. But that's not atypical. I mean, the reason why it's a living nightmare is because you don't want to see a baby on the plane because <laughs> they cry all the time. I, we're so hip. We're, we're hypocrites. We have baby. We've taken babies on the plane. I, I, I don't want to be myself whenever I bring a baby I, but on the plane. I, I feel like now that I I have a kid or have had a kid, that I am more um, considerate, empathetic yeah. towards that person. Oh yeah. But then I feel like. Like fifty-five-year-old Tyler won't be anymore. Right. Like the baby. Because I don't play. remember. I'm like, God, shut your kid up. Right. What's wrong with you? You're not a parent. Like, and it's was, always it's always in their awkward position too. Whenever there is a crying baby, like, who's gonna say something first? That's, that's no one, one should. Kind of, just just I, let I it go. Know. There's nothing you can do. There's, There's nothing that you can do. You so can't I, raise I do, someone else's kid. I do feel empathetic, but still, I don't want to sit next to him. So I tried to go unique for my number one because that that one definitely crossed my mind. But number one for me is loud eater. 
<laughs> yeah. Loud eaters, peanuts, they brought their own. Loud. They brought their own snacks. Yeah. You know, they get out their little shoe bag carry on, or even their like giant carry on that shouldn't be on there. And they get out like their little baggies full of snacks and this like Fritos and mm -hmm. Funyuns and like <laughs> just deafening outside the like Lord laffy taffy. Like, <laughs> and you know, you're just you're just <laughs> loud you're just hearing it. You know, and you just can't help but like hear the sound. That's a people hate the sounds of eating. They really do. Yeah. Um, so that 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 person to me would just be like, uh, you know, it wouldn't, especially in a, a confined space where you can't get away from. So them. what do you do? Yeah. Do you ask them for some so then you can <laughs> eat loud with them and or, then or take a, away some of their portions? Yeah. yeah. Oh, can I have <laughs> a couple? Can I have a couple Fritos? <laughs> <laughs> and then your boat's just doing it, and now everyone on the plane's annoyed. Just stare at each other's eyes, munching on stuff. <laughs> Who can be louder? <laughs>